Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding a DAX function for getting the average of selected months. So if you have a sales details and if you have a use case of getting the average of the last three months or the last four months, how you can do it dynamically. So suppose you have a calendar like this here and you have the sales details and you are having a problem statement of getting the last three months sales. So you can have it using dynamic by what if parameter and once you move it to three you want you move that slicer to three you will be getting the sum of all three months march april and may and then at the same time you will be getting the average of the months. so how we are going to do that so obviously you need to have the time intelligence function called dates and period of course in that dates and periods first parameter is the dates you need to give the date table and here the date table is the revenue table itself and there you will be having the column date so you will give that table and then you have the start date. See, now we are getting the problem statement like last three months and last four months. So you won't be having the start date because you don't know the start date of the three months because you will be having the last day and that will be the, that they will be changing for the day. So only thing we know is the last month. So we will keep the last month that's as the start date. And then for the number of intervals, we will subtract from the last month. So if you suppose you are having June as the last month, then we will go three months before. That means May, June, May and April. The same way right now here it is May is the last month and we will go three months. That means May, April, March. So going behind means you need to give minus three, negative three. Negative that. So this number is the number we are going to give that will set how much months average we need. So we will give three and then the interval in, interval is between months or year, which whichever you want. So this is dates and period usually. So we use dates and period to get the sales of the last three months or the last four months, depending upon the, upon the number. At the same time here, we are going to give it dynamically because uh, the, num the months we can select it dynamically because we are going to use what if parameter. So for that, we will be using a variable to store this what if parameter, this value. So once you create a what if parameter, a table will be created and you will be getting a column that is having the values of this month. So all these months will be taken inside the web, inside a variable and this variable will be passed to here this number of intervals you will be giving a negative symbol and this variable will be passed here so obviously with respect to the slicer movement you will be getting the dates and period and the calculate some so you can get the sales of these given months and say just store that sales in a variable and just divide that sales by this same number same number and you will be getting the average of so we will try an example for this so already i have created this table to check whether whatever value you are going to get is correct or what. so first we will create a what if parameter so you can go to modeling and then you can go to new parameter and just click you will be getting the what if parameter and you can give the name for that i am going to give it as month select and here the minimum is not going to be zero, it's going to be a one. And of course, till 10 months, we can do it. And the remaining, of course, definitely there is another option for year. So you can do that. So increment should be from one because we need to go one, one by one month. So you can add it as a slicer. And of course, we got the slicer. And if you move, you will be getting the changed months. And at the same time, you are getting the table also. And this month selected, this value, we are going to take it in a variable. So we will create a measure or for sales for the amount with respect to the months chosen. So, so we will create it as sales for selected months equals to first itself. We can create a variable and store the selected value and you can give it as selected months equals to selected value and this will be the value month selected and you can give it as month selected the next one is obviously we can return it and we can write the calculate function calculate sum of sales and then we can give dates in period and first is the date table and we will give it as dates and next is the start date and start date should be max of revenue date and now we need to give the number of intervals instead of giving the a numeral we will do one thing we will give a negative symbol and then we will give that variable which we have given selected months and now the next one is of course month and Obviously, we will check whether we are getting the correct value. So here we are storing the selected value, whichever value is being moved, whichever value is showing here, that will be stored in this variable. And that variable we will be 
passing it to the number of intervals obviously this wait in period everything is proper usually we will write it for getting the sales or total of the months so we will copy and paste this here and we will remove the field and we will select the field which we have selected sales for selected months and that is 8118 that is the last month because it is only one month now we will move to the second month and we will see it has changed because now it has added to the second month and if you are moving it more now it has added to the third month these three months it has added how would you if you move it has these four months it has added so you got the sales of the last four months now you need to get the average now we need to give the average of these four months so for that we need to divide it by four four is already there that is a selected value so the same function we can use and we can divide it by four we will be getting the average so one more measure we will write average of selected months equals to we can write the same thing here variable select months equals to selected value of revenue sorry of month selected now we need to get the sales of these months so sales of of month equals to calculate sum of sales then dates in period same thing which we have done in the last function last measures dates in period revenue date and then we need to give the start date that is max of revenue date and then we need to give the negative symbol and we need to give the selected months and of course the remaining one is month now you can return and then we can divide it divide and the numerator will be selected months the denominator will be numerator will be sales sales of month the denominator will be selected months and of course the alternate also should be zero so these two we have done in the last measure itself the only thing we have added is we have divided this sales of month by this selected we have divided the sales of month with this selected month. now we can copy and paste it here once again and we can change it to average sales so now since it is already selected of four months so 58790 and divided by 4 it has taken and it has given the average now we will give it for 3 months both are changing for 2 months also it is changing for 12 because it will be around 24000 and 24000 divided by 2 will be 12000 something and the first month itself it will be correct for both the measures so in this way it will work but the only problem is now we are having only 5 5 months now if you are going to the 7 the average will be different because now it is called it is taking 75000 divided by 7 actually 75000 should not be divided by 7 because only 5 months are so that you can of course you can give an if statement but the sales is there if not blank for sales you can just stop it there so that you can do it if you want to explore more about this problem statement now of course in this way you can dynamically we the sales for the selected month as well as the average for the selected month hope this was interesting have a nice day